moment we've all been waiting for, 2K has officially announced that the late great Kobe Bryant will be gracing the NBA 2K21 cover with the Mamba Forever edition that will be released for the current gen and the next gen consoles coming up. In a little, you know, in a brief trailer showcasing who, I don't know who the artist was, so if y'all know, like, drop that in the comment section below, but whoever the, the guy is who was painting the murals of Kobe Bryant, you know, the 8 and the 24, the 8 is going to be the cover of the current gen, and then 24 Kobe will be, you know, the PS5 and, you know, Xbox One Series X cover. They also released some of the pre-order bonuses that you get, and you will get 100,000 VC, 10,000 My Team points, 10 My Team token, 60 My Career Skill boosts, 30 My Career Gatorade boosts, 40 My Team promo packs, 10 at launch and 3 per week, Sapphire, Damian Lillard, and Zion Wiggs, My Team cards, My Player Shoe Collection, My Player Backpack, and of course, the Kobe Bryant Digital Collection. So, yeah man, I'm looking forward to it. Now, they did also announce something very crucial that a lot of people should know. If you buy the Mamba Edition, that will be the only way that you will have dual access without having to buy a current gen and a next gen copy of the video game. Honestly, I think that's trash, but all three versions of the game will be different prices. The regular edition current gen will be $59.99, the Zion next gen edition will be $69.99, and of course the usual legend or hall of fame edition or whatever edition they got is the usual 99 bucks so basically what 2k saying is if you don't want to have to worry about it basically spend this a hundred dollars and you know you could respectfully go from xbox one to you know xbox one series x or ps4 to ps5 now they didn't really say as far as your my player is that that's going to carry over. So I think that's like real interesting. But, you know, they also released some other pre-order bonus stuff for, you know, the Dame and the Zion, but nothing too game-changing and nothing like that, though. But they also didn't really give any information, but there will be a Kobe, you know, a Kobe challenge. Kind of like what they did with NBA 2K11, I want to say, with Michael Jordan. So I'm interested to see how that's going to work out. Matter of fact, y'all leave in the comment section below what Kobe moments are y'all really ready to play? Yo, it'd be crazy if they like got Jalen Rose or somebody to do like commentary during the 81 game. I just, you know, I just think that would be hilarious. But the current gen released September the 4th and holiday 2020 has been released for the next gen. But overall though, I'm most likely nine times out of 10 gonna get the Kobe Mama Forever edition. I mean, it, it it's only right. And plus I don't wanna have to basically spend like $150 just to play the same video game on two different consoles. I mean, for some of you who, you know, likes to like spend 50 and $100 on VC, I mean, y'all might not mind spending $200 on one video game, but that's a, that's a different conversation for a different day. But leave in the comment section below, man. What couple will you get? Are you excited for the Kobe Bryant edition? 824, you can have a debate which one had the greater career. But overall though, what's your overall excitement level for NBA 2K21? Minus them adding more sweat like they do like every single year. But like, share, subscribe. You can dislike this video. Whatever you want to do. Either way it go. <laughs> it's a few for euphoric trip. We are also on the road to 3K, man. So help your boys out, man. We appreciate y'all.